So yesterday we did a movie rant to one of the worst movies I have ever seen in my life, which is Megamind 2, which DreamWorks, you better be ashamed of yourself. Why in the world are you ruining Megamind? But now we're going to talk about the very first movie of the Megamind franchise. Hello everyone, or good afternoon everyone. This is your good old neighbor Nick Kick, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fans of the One. And people, I say Nick Hicks, not the naked wood. I am that stupid. So hey guys, so today I am doing a movie review on Megamind. Kim at Yo of 2010. The same yo of Tangle, Despicable Me 1, Toy Story 3. Uh, the Legend of the Guardian, the Hour at Kahu. Oh my god. That title make me, I'm oh, sorry, that title make me want to laugh my butt off for Zack Snyder movies. And Aqua Mega, which screw the movie. And last not least, the worst movie of 2010. Not the last and Bender, and not even Saw 3D. It's Little Crapper. One of the second worst, sorry, one of the second worst movie I have ever seen in my life. So screw that movie. So, hey guys, enough for the ado. Let's get this movie review started, shall we? It's review time. So, my thought on Megamind. It came out 14 years. Yup, it's been 14 years since this film came out. Because this film came out on November 5th. Because when this film came out, at first some people was not familiar with the Megamind movies. And after they watched it, on the guy, they kind of, on the guy, they really was impressed about this movie. But this film was almost going to be one, I'm sorry, going to be one of the most forgotten DreamWorks film ever made. But doing to as you guys and doing to there was no popularity about this film. This film was a sadly a box office bomb, and that honestly, and that's why years ago that DreamWorks had no bother to greenlight a Mega Mind two. But not until we honestly, honestly, but not until we had one of the worst movie I have seen in my life, which is that Mega Mind two. Yes, screw that movie and screw that movie and a behind. And so, hey guys, and how in the, I mean, how dare they? Ruin Megamind for a Megamind 2 of the Doom Samaritary. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about that film. It's so bad. It's so, hey guys. We're going to talk about the good Megamind movie. But my thought on the Megamind 2010. I got to be honest. This is honestly one of my second favorite anime film of 2010. Behind with Disney Tangle. Why? Because I have a major crush on Rapunzel. My favorite performance I ever seen from many modes. And, and this film is honestly one of my top 8 favorite DreamWorks film ever made. And no people, 12 movies, and not in my... And no people, 12 movies, it's not in my top 10 favorite DreamWorks film. Because I am not stupid. Because anyway, guys. I am not a brony. I am not a trollony. Because I can be honest, but the troll fans kind of remember you a brony. In which I don't want to be a brony. Because I might do a rant on the brony. Oh my god, I cannot stand the brony. It's the same with the Swifty. It's stupid. And Dory, even I'm a huge fan of Taylor Swift, but I am not going to be the Swifty. I am not that stupid. Anyway, do I have any negative about this film? And oh, no. Let's get some positive. The story, on the guys, the story is kind of mummy of the Superman origin because on the guys, Megamind was born... Was born as a baby when uh, I mean when he's um when he's having the f I'm sorry when he's holding the fish and why the parent to uh, set them in the I mean in the little rocket it's kind of money of Superman because you see Superman parent see the cryptos falling down I'm sorry falling down in the sky and um, all the guys and they launch the baby out in the space they did the same thing for a metal man and mega mind yeah all the guys I think the story is kind of remind me of the Superman uh the Superman origin but not just that 
But top of that, I think the story is very, uh, I mean, very well written. It's a very great dialogue. Because this film has one of the greatest dialogue that you've ever seen for a Megamind movie. And the characters. I like every single character. It's way better than the 2024 version of the Megamind. I don't want to talk about it. It's stupid. And so, you guys, let's get to the Megamind himself. Voiced by Will Ferrell. The, uh, the legendary Will Ferrell. I gotta be honest. Even, honestly, even I think him as a CEO for Barbie from the Barbie movie, which is my next review of that, so stay tuned for that. Cannot wait to talk about it. It's going to be a 10 out of 10 movie masterpiece. But I can be honest, but him as Megamind is my second favorite performance I ever seen for Will Ferrell because my number third is him as Buddy, which is the elf movie. And my number one is him as a CEO from Barbie from the Barbie movie starting Margot Bobby, Margot Robbie, and Ryan Gosling. American Forever this. So, yeah. And if I say her name wrong, I'm totally apologize about that, guys. And I am terrible at pronouncing names. So, just let me know in the comments section if you have terrible pronounce people's name. Because her name, her last name, uh, her last name is really complicated. So, I, honestly, in my movie review, I might call her Megan. You know, and that's really just like when you know it was not. Anyway. And honestly, guys, and now we're going to talk about the money ons. I mean, the money ons. Honestly, guys, the main reason why I said, I'm oh, sorry, the main reason why I have to say uh, many on like that, this has to be, uh, honestly, guys, if I call him the minions, I kind of, uh, uh, honestly, guys, if I, if I call him the minions, I kind of remind me, uh, honestly, guys, it's kind of remind me of the minions from the Elimination. So I don't want to, I don't want to mix people because they named the character in the minions, like, are you kidding me right now? The minions? It's kind of, Honestly, guys, it's kind of reminds me of the Elimination. I gotta be honest, because this film came out the same year of Despicable Me. Because they named the Minions characters, and they said, honestly, guys, I can see why the DreamWorks watched a, um, watch, um, watched the very first Despicable Me, the very first Elimination film ever. And they said, you know what? What's, honestly, guys, what's named David Cross character a Minions? That's fantastic green light. DreamWorks, can you stop the Elimination? It's stupid. Anyway, but him as a Minion. This is hand down is one of my favorite performances I ever seen from David Cross since his villain war in the Alvin and Chipmunk from 2007 in the Squeak War. Even I think that I mean even I even I think those film is really kind of corny and cheesy. <laughs> but I gotta be honest. But I honestly guys, I do give some positive about that film. But overall, that film is too corny, too I mean too corny, too uh, too corny, too cheesy. So I don't care what anyone said. And so, hey guys, my honestly guys, I'll get to my favorite character in the middle. Let's get to the Metal Man, voiced by Brad Pitt. I gotta be honest, even I think his character for Babylon or even Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is my favorite performance by Brad Pitt. I gotta be honest, I like Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is a very looking guy. But I gotta be honest, but him as a metal man is my favorite performance. Sorry, my third favorite performance I have seen from Bright Pitt. Now we are going to talk about the villain of the movie. Yep, that's fine. We're going to talk about the villain of the movie, voiced by Jonah Hill. Even I think Jonah Hill is not my top 10 favorite actor of all time. And don't get me wrong, he's a very really funny actor. He's a very really funny guy. Because I do, I do like his comedy. But I gotta be honest, but. You do have some fun sometimes, but anyway, but top of that, but this is honestly is one of my is one of my favorite performances I ever seen from Johnny Hill next to his character from Sergeant Party. But my favorite character in this film, which is no than Roxanne. No, people, I'm not talking about Roxanne from a goofy movie, and I'm not talking about Roxanne from the 2024 movie, which is no than the Mega Mind too. I'm not talking about that. I'm not stupid. Anyway, we have to talk about the 2010 version of of Roxanne, voiced by. Hannah Faye, the same girl that she made joke about Taylor Swift. Well, she didn't mean to. She was doing her job. But Swifty had said that they are... They could probably do it on purpose, which... Oh, my God. I might do a win on the Swifty fan base. Oh, my God. Thank goodness I am not part of the fan base just because I'm a huge fan of Taylor Swift. Just like me and Toby. That doesn't mean we're going to be on the Swifty. It's stupid. Anyway, guys. But her as... But Hannah Faye, her as... Roxanne, this has to be one of my favorite performances I've ever seen since her character war from The Muppets Most Wanted. Even I think that film was a very disappointing and a very disappointing follow-up to the first Muppet movie. But I gotta be honest, I forgot to do a movie review on Muppets Most Wanted, which I didn't feel like talking about the movie. So, yeah. And Ben Snyder is in this film. Yep, we got two movies from 2010 starting Ben Snyder. We got him in this film and, of course, 
What a crap for, I don't want to talk about that film. That film was Score You For Life, the same with a uh, Mega Man 2. But I'm going to be honest, but this is a way better war than him as Grade from Little Crapper, one of the second worst movies I've seen in my life, so yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, and the animation. The animation is really pretty good, and the animation and the character design and the production design, it looks really good. It looks, it looks really good. It looks really good. So like I said, it looks really good. What else you want me to say about it? And the dance scene, this is a way better dance scene than the dance scene of Mega Mind 2. I'm not using that. I'm not using that as a meme for dance meme. It is so stupid. But uh honestly guys, but the dance scene when Mega Mind and Roxanne and even the mayor dancing, you see all um, <clears throat> all of the characters from the town dancing or even the Mount Young. But I gotta be honest, but they did a wonderful job with their dance scene. I gotta be honest, it's honestly one of my top five favorite movie dance scene I ever seen because every single anime film have to have the dance scene, like the Smurf movie, the whole two Transylvania movie, or even the Sergeant's Party movie did not count because Honestly, guys, they have some different ending for that film, which I don't want to tell you what it is, so... Yeah, let's not talk about it. Anyway, guys. And they played the song called Bad by Michael Jackson. I gotta be honest, more I listen to that song, it's honestly one of my second favorite songs by Michael Jackson, um, Michael Jackson behind with Smooth Cannibal. Oh, yeah. I love that song. Honestly, guys, honestly, guys I kind of sound like Kool-Aid Man every time I say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, you guys, and honestly, guys, honestly, guys, I was very disappointed that this film sadly bombed the box office, which, honestly, guys, back in years ago, we should have got Mega Mind 2 instead. Oh, honestly, guys, instead that we, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I was like, instead, instead that we got a Mega Mind 2, it kind of worked like a freaking PS2 game, which I am not, I am not rewatching Mega Mind 2 ever again. That's a, honestly, that's a type of film. I'll, honestly, that's a type of film. I want to forget I'm a misery, so get that out of my face. So, over, guys, Mega Mind is a very good movie. It's a very fantastic masterpiece movie. The story is kind of my mean of the Superman origin, but overall, I think the story is really pretty good. The animation is really pretty good. It's really pretty good, honestly. And the character is unforgettable. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, unforgettable. And the action scene is has to be one of my favorite action scenes I've ever seen for a, for a Mega Mind movie, for a DreamWorks film in general. The same with How to Train Your Dragon and Kung Fu Panda and some of the action and even Rise of the Guardians. And so, you guys, and this has to be one of my favorite, favorite animated film that sadly bombed the box office. The same with Rise of the Guardians and some of that. I'm sorry. And uh, I mean, and some of that good and good. And DreamWorks, if you bring back Rise of the Guardians, you better make sure you better make that film as a real risky animation. But if you make, honestly, DreamWorks. If you make a Rise of Guardian shows trying to be like a freaking PS2 game, your studio will go bankrupt because you're going to lose all of your vocal because you keep making your movie work like Video Man Gradle. You better not bankrupt. You better not touch your IP for your movie IP. Or else your studio will be go to the bank of just like in 2014 when Penguin the Madagascar bomb and the Mr. Peabody Sherman bomb and you just didn't even care. You just want your studio and you on the on the guy and you want your vocal to lose all your money. So I really hope that Comfort Panda 4 will not be disappointing. Or else I will be done with DreamWorks and DreamWorks will be gone, will be dead. So, you guys, I'm going to give Mega Mind 2010 a 10 out of 10. This is an epic, brilliant masterpiece, and I'm going to give the the only Mega Mind movie a seal of naked awesomeness. So, you guys, that was my movie review on the first, I mean, of the first movie, which is another than the Mega Mind. Uh, I mean, I'll show say Mega Mind. So, you guys, so tell me about your opinion on the Mega Mind movie on the comments section below. And tell me, and tell me which Mega Mind movie that you prefer. If you say Mega Mind 2, it can show that you're not a real movie critic if you said, honestly guys, it can show that you're not a real movie critic if you said Mega Mind 2 is a lot better than the first film. What kind of drink are you drinking? And I'm begging you, stop doing it. 
Anyway, guys, I'm not trying to bet your opinion. I was just doing... I'm, honestly, I was using for comedy purposes. So, don't take it away just seriously. Don't take it away just seriously. No, 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 no. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this Mega Mind video, please, hi, hi, really like a main you. You hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share the video with your whole family. And my next movie review, which is another than my redo movie review on the Barbie movie, starting Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, American Forever, or even Will Ferrell as a CEO from Barbie. Well, at first I said that Will Ferrell as a CEO for Barbie is going to be the main villain in that movie, but no joke. The Will, Will I'm sorry, the Will villain in that movie, which is another than the Ken, performed by Ryan Gosling. Because he turned into, I'm sorry, he turned a Barbie win into like a Ken win. That's right, bunch of cowboy, bunch of wanchy stuff, and all that goody good. This is the main reason why this film is PG-13, so. This film is not just a Barbie movie. I will talk more about this film. It's going to be a really long movie review. So, it will come out after dinner, which is coming out after dinner. So, yeah. Anyway, you know what? Let's do it after lunch because after dinner at 6, I got to do a Bad Friend episode. And it's going to be a very short one. I, I, would say, I think all of my series is going to be short for now on because I do have some bedtime time in my head and so yeah all right guys stay tuned for my redo movie review on the bobby movie which is the way you gave me worst movie that he ever seen like all the film that you that you hate and now you pick this bobby's why you hate bobby so much it can show that he didn't even watch the film and he's just well honestly, he's just hating it hating it it's hating it for hating it like Bobby is a really good movie. It's a very good movie with a fantastic storyline. I mean, story development and the characters. And so, yeah. And I'll talk more about this film in my next review. So, stay tuned for that, everyone. Stay tuned for, uh, stay tuned for that, Bobby fan. So, hey, guys. Have a great... I mean, have a great afternoon, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And stay tuned for my redo movie review on Bobby's. Goodbye. See you guys next time. And you guys have a great afternoon. And do not watch Megamind 2. Go watch this film. Bye.